Today we are going to do whoo, a garage tour. We built it ourselves, I was digger driver. bit crammed you'll recognize thug on the end and um, let's start over in this corner because it's pretty exciting we've got the lawnmower proper adulting this is where a lot of our kit is stored up top we've got the magic rabaconda top drawer is the, the goggles one thing you'll notice as we go around the garage is that rocky monster and i quite like things to have a place and a home the units are all Teng tools, as far as the red goes. We've got four wall units across the top, two drawer units at the bottom. A stool enables you to be at level, not sitting on the floor, not crouching. I'm uh, jumping a bit all over the place, but what's the correct order for touring garage? I don't know. Super organized sockets uh, of all different sizes. Look at the size of this one. Whoop. He's a big one, eh? It's great because if you have a tool out and you get to the end of the day, you can really quickly see, hang on, we've still got a tool to put away, which means we don't actually lose that annoying little 10 mil spanner. Miscellaneous drawers are, I often think the bottom drawers in units are allowed to be like that. Very important things like a hairdryer. A uh, big torque wrench, because he's too big to go in the drawers. A little bit of a working area, the vice. This was actually made by Alex's father back when he was a student at school. You know you're proper adulting when you have a pillar drill. These are all soft clothes, so there's no getting angry. Look at this, look at the rage. Oh, just says, calm, Vanessa. You may not slam me. Got overhead unit, big hand wipes, because we all know that I get very oily. I'm not very good at keeping clean, lock tight. We've got cable ties, zip ties, whatever you want to call them. A magnetic little shelf up in the back, types of tape in there, paints, blow torch, dust masks, gloves. We've got our C-Tech charger stuff. Our bikes actually live, the two Harleys live with C-Tech chargers on them so that whenever we want the bikes, they're gonna be ready to go. Basically, this is a power tool cupboard. Rubber, mat, rubber matting. Now, this looks amazing because it is checker plate, but I don't recommend this floor, unfortunately. But if you like looks over practicality, you know, this one is pretty cool. Hurts your knees a little bit if you kneel. Here we go. Oh, above our head, we have a loft hatch. Basically, the gateway to squirrel hiding stuff heaven. Uh, these are our kite surfing boards. If you know my story, you'll know that I was a massive kite surfer before the accident. I hope to get back out on the water. We just made from a ladder, and then we've nicely edged it with some silver checker plate, because everybody loves checker plate. We've got axle stands for the car, air compressor, that will take the weight of the Harleys. This is a brilliant piece of kit. A drop out aluminium jack. We've got ramps to put the car on if we're going to work on them. We have our Cartier petrol jet wash. That is called Squirt. And then we've got another big unit behind us. Da -da -da. All of our oils. This is fantastic little thing. It's like a sump oil tray. Loads of rags and Pro Green MX bike cleaner. Absolutely love this stuff. Um, Wonder wheels for cleaning alloy. It's chilly. <laughs> the garage hoover, he's a little wet and dry. Absolutely brilliant, so much suck. Probably shouldn't say that on camera, but it's true. Helmets, so I've got two more Hebo helmets. Both of these have Cardo Pack Talk Bold Duos installed on them, and husband and I will always ride with our Cardos. It means that we can chat and basically enjoy being out on the bikes at the same time. My skates went to Wheels and Waves a few years ago, so pick these up. Uh, two HJC Harley helmets on the top. So we've got my Liat boots, we've got my kit. Uh, this is all bicycle tools. So these Tang spanners are just amazing. 
can't live without those. More miscellaneous tools and electrical bits and bobs. This stand in the middle is probably worth mentioning. This will take something like 135 kilos, which is perfect for an enduro bike. It's uh, hydraulic. box on the top is by Teng, and it's probably the collection of all of our most used tools. And so this thing is on wheels. Doo -doo -doo. And it means that when we're working on the bikes, if it's a nice sunny day, we can roll it out into the garden and have the tools next to us, or we could roll it over into the middle of the room and be working next to the KTM. It's on big industrial wheels and work on the bikes, make all the mess in the garden and wheel it back in. Have it in the middle of the garage and be able to work 360 around it as opposed to just being on one angle on a workbench. Brilliant. Cool, so that is a tour of the garage. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, anything that I've missed out, any of the kit that you want to know a little bit more about. I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike. Thanks for watching and I hope you have enjoyed seeing what goes on in the, the Ruck garage. Yeah. <laughs>